Hey guys, how you doing? It's Crypto Kid bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today we're going to go over some CompTIA Security Plus questions. Obviously, you need to make sure to know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So we're going to go over a social engineering quiz. It shouldn't be a long video. It should be an easy video. It shouldn't be that complicated. Let me share my screen and go over this quick with you. And hopefully it helps you out. All right? Let me share my screen. So... Screen plus three. All right, so I'm just gonna kill that. Uh, kill that as well. All right, so so we have we have social engineering quiz. So this is the first question: a social engineering technique whereby attackers under when attackers under disguise of a legitimate request attempt to gain access to confidential information is commonly referred to as what? Phishing, smishing. I mean, spoofing. I think this is going to be fishing. Like that one. The practice of using a telephone system to manipulate user user into disclosing confidential information is known as what? Whaling, spear phishing, uh, phishing. Farm. What is this? I got to look this up. I'll look it up later. I think it's this one. For text mobile messaging. Uh, which of the following answers refers to a social engineering attack that exploits SMS or text messages to deceive recip recipients into taking harmful actions such as revealing sensitive information or clicking malicious links? Farming, spoofing, pushing, smishing. I'm going to go with smishing. Which of the terms listed below refers to false or misleading information that is spread unintentionally? So, disinformation, yes. I think this is misinformation for this one. Uh, which of the following terms best describes deliberate false or misleading information spread with the intent to deceive or manipulate? This is disinformation, deception, gaslighting, manipulation. This, and this is A. Which type of social engineering attack relies on identity fraud? This is impersonation. So someone's trying to impersonate you to, to get more information out of you, to get some more stuff out of you. So it's definitely going to be that one. An example of BEC attack is an example of what? A big attack is an example of what? I'm going to say phishing. Which of the following answers listed below refers to a social engineering te technique where an attacker creates a fabricated scenario or situation to deceive the victim into revealing sensitive information? Personation, presidential harvesting, this has nothing to do with this. Pretesting, pretexting, uh, pretexting would be the answer. Order, ordering whole attack has nothing to do with this. All right, cool. Which of the following terms refers to a common platform for water water hole, water hole attacks? Uh, websites. A fake website mimicking a legitimate online retailer designed to steal user login credentials is an example of what? It's brand impersonation. So they're basically copying your website and then getting access to your information that way. It wouldn't be identity fraud. It wouldn't be malicious. So it has nothing to do with this. So, uh, the term type of squat, squatting refers to a deceptive practice involving the deliberate registration of domain names with misspellings or slight variations that closely resemble well-established and popular domain names. The primary goal of the strategy is to exploit the common typographical errors made by users while entering URLs into their website browser's address bar. Beyond capturing in, in a, inverted traffic, typo squatting may also be used for hosting phishing sites to trick users into diverging sensitive information, distributing malware through deception websites, generating and rendezvous by redirecting mistyped traffic or engaging in brand impersonation to harm the reputation of an authentic brands or deceive users. True or false? This is true. In email communication, what sign could, can be help of recognizing a phishing attempt? The message contains proper, uh, message contains poor spelling and grammar. Yeah, that's 
This is right. A message that asks for personal information. Yeah, this is right. A message that includes a call to action with a sense of urgency. Yeah, that is right. The message includes suspicious links for attachments. Yeah, that is right. So any of the above is the answer for this one. Uh, what would be appropriate user response to an, em an email phishing attempt? Select all that apply. Not reply to the message or providing any personal information. Yep, that's correct. Re reporting the message to IT or security department if applicable. Yep. Deleting the message from the inbox. That's correct. Not clicking on any links or downloading any attachments in the message. That is correct. Forwarding the message to a sender of effort. No, I wouldn't do that. Opening the attachment in, in sandbox environment to check it. I wouldn't do that either. Uh, what is the best countermeasure against social engineering attacks? Obviously, user education. All right. See how many we got wrong. So we got that one right. 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 Tailgating has nothing to do with this. We got that one right. And that one's correct. That one's correct. Brand impersonation, that is correct. This is true. Any of the above. This is correct. This is correct. Hey, we got 100. Awesome. Stop sharing. So yeah, that should be the quiz for uh, for today, social engineering quiz. Hopefully you like this and hopefully this helps you out. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.